let us pray our father and our God once more and again we are so thankful to come into your house of prayer we thank you God for the privilege of beginning a new season a season of penitence, O oh God but a season of repenting from our sins and we thank you in advance of your faithfulness your faithfulness to forgive us of all of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness God tonight we thank you for a brand new beginning and we thank you God for a season of hope and restoration and God we ask tonight that you would create in us all clean hearts and renew a right spirit within us that we may love you that we may magnify you and that we may worthily O oh God give you glory and give witness to mankind of your grace toward us and the opportunity of grace toward others God I ask that you would hear the prayers of everyone in this space on tonight and not only to hear our prayers but to hear the meditations of every heart and God we ask that you would incline your ear unto all of us and grant your peace for that which we ask we ask in Jesus name and the redeemed of the Lord said, Amen. Say Amen again. Amen. amen. My brothers and sisters, tonight we come to another season, another opportunity of beginning 40 days of preparation of Lent. And we are grateful to God for how God has honored us to be a part of life. And to be a part of not only life, but a part of the forgiveness of His grace and His sins. And so we come on this Ash Wednesday, the beginning of these 40 days and 40 days of separating ourselves from ourselves so that we can even see God even in a greater manner. So tonight we, people all over the world are wondering what this Ash Wednesday is really all about. And Ash Wednesday is really our returning, our returning back to God. It's an opportunity for us to receive the first love that God has given to all of us and then we return that love back to God. And we do so that we do so in remembering and repenting, but more importantly, we do so in um, uh, uh, expressing our gratitude to God by giving up some things that we love. So many people have done that in many years and it becomes a, it becomes a, um, a, a routine, it becomes, not, um, it becomes just a habit that I'm giving up this and I'm giving up that. But it's not just giving up, it's what we are gaining in our return. Amen. Not only are we giving up things of substance, maybe it was, it's be, it, whether it is food and whether it is uh, social media or whatever it might be. We give these things up so that we can experience what God has experienced through His Son, our Savior Himself. It helps us to understand and to see very clearly that it's not easy to make a commitment unto God without the enemy, without the enemy beginning to uh, tempt us and to distort us and to try us. Even on the little bitty things of candy or desserts or whatever the beverage may be or whatever the activity it may be that we are sacrificing and giving up. We realize that God uses these things to grow us and to empower us even the more so that we can understand understand what real sacrifice is all about. So the reality of today is really not about us. It's really about our love for God and His love toward us. The reality of the beginning of Ash Wednesday has nothing to do with how good we are to keep our commitment, but it's really how good God is that in the way that He has kept His commitment toward us. So tonight, we begin to consecrate ourselves, and we consecrate ourselves in a way that should change our lives, that should change our lives from now not only these 40 days of beginning on tonight, but it should literally change our lives all the way through the Resurrection Sunday. And then even through Resurrection Sunday, it should make a difference of our lives as we prepare to uh, receive the very power that we celebrate as Christians, as we celebrate the very power and the reconciliation of God through what He has done. So you will, tonight, 
Not only dedicate and commit yourselves to that which you are committing unto to God. But when you pray, we will pray and not only pray, but fast when we pray. And fasting, not only just literally giving up the substance of that which we are denying ourselves. But fasting to the degree, my brothers and sisters, that literally that we ought to feel the anger and the, not the anger, but the anguish. The anguish that God felt when giving up his only begotten son. Tonight is a very grand beginning. It is not just a solemn beginning, but it's really a hopeful beginning because we ought to experience our faith in God like never before. We ought to experience our faith in God to understand that God is really moving in a divine way for all of us and through of us. And what we commit unto the Lord, He is able to sustain us. So as we continue to worship in spirit and in truth tonight, I really, really want us to be really committed and submitting ourselves at the gaze of God's grace and His mercy toward us in such a way that this Ash Wednesday will be more than just tradition. This Ash Wednesday will be more than just a ceremony, but it will be our beginning of commitment unto the Lord. People have been proclaiming all day what they're giving up, and I think that it's okay to affirm that. Affirming it brings us to accountability. But it also is very important, not only what we're giving up, but what we're adding on. What we add on sometimes is more important than what we give up. What we give up, some things that we give up normally are things that we probably need to give up anyway. What we add on are things that will glorify God, glorify God, glorify God, glorify God. What we give up edifies ourselves. What we add on should glorify God. As we look into our own faith community and what we're adding on, not just financially and not just our physical activity, but I was saying to the congregation on this morning, some of us, when we talk about doing a good deed, we need to stretch beyond our comfort zone calling people that you don't normally call and pray with them, not gossip with them, but pray with them. Calling persons that you see or learning the names of people you see but no, don't know their names. We are compelled by God to use this season to grow, to grow in grace and to grow in mercy and to grow in love. My brothers and sisters, may we grow in that abundance and may we grow in the assurance that this season will be the very best season that we have experienced in all of our Lenten seasons because we have been empowered by knowledge and empowered by God's grace. I want to ask Liz to come and to continue to minister to us in song as we prepare and minister to ourselves through this worship experience and may this season and may this time on this evening be what we are in need of as we grow and go toward the power and the will of God. Joyful noise 
we're going to lean and depend on him like never before. Amen. We're going to do as Pastor said. We're going to pray for each other and with each other. We're going to stretch out on our faith. We're going to renew our commitment. We're going to be mighty saints of God. Because God is faithful, so we shall too be faithful.
Norman for ministering to us in song. Our brothers and sisters, what a wonderful way to begin our commitment and our consecration. As we continue to worship God, let us prepare to worship God with our offering on tonight as our ushers will prepare to serve us.